Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial that will explain what a scatter diagram is. We will also show how to construct one by hand and using Excel. So what is a scatter diagram? A scatter diagram is a way to show the relationship between two variables, one plotted on the x-axis or horizontal axis and the other plotted on the y or vertical axis. Sometimes we use the scatter diagram to show a relationship or correlation between two variables. Other times we can use the diagram to make predictions. When the scatter diagram is used for predictive purposes, the x variable is referred to as the independent variable, while the y variable is called the dependent variable. So let's say we are interested in predicting a student's grades based on the number of hours they studied for an exam. X would be the number of hours studied on the exam, and that would be the independent variable, and Y would be the grade on the exam or the dependent variable. We could see whether there is a relationship between the number of hours studied and the grade on the exam, and we could also use the information to predict the student's grade if we know how many hours they studied. Let's take a look at the data collected from 10 students who were asked how many hours they studied and their grade on the last statistics exam. We see here 10 numbers for X, the number of hours studied, and 10 numbers for Y, their grade on the exam. It's easy to construct a scatter diagram from this data. First, let's draw an X axis and a Y axis and label them hours and grade on the exam. Let's also draw tick marks on each axis and label them 1, 2, 3, and so on for hours studied, and also label the grades axis with numbers to make it easier to plot the x and y coordinates. Now we are ready to plot our coordinates of x's and y's. The first student studied for two hours and got a 69 on the exam. So let's plot that coordinate by going to the intersection of 2 on the x-axis and 69 or close to 70 on the y-axis and that would be right around here. The next student studied 9 hours and received a grade of 98 so that would be around here. The third student studied 5 hours and got an 82 and that would be here. We can plot the rest of the coordinates in the same way until we have all 10 pairs of x's and y's plotted. And this is what the end result would look like. Since the dots appear to be sloping upward, that means as x, the number of hours studied, increases, then y, the grade on the exam, also increases. When the dots appear to be sloping upward in this manner, we could even visualize a straight line that might fit this data sloping upwards. This relationship between x and y is called a positive relationship. If the dots were sloping downward, as in this example, then this would be called a negative relationship since it shows that as x increases, y decreases. And we also have situations where there are no relationships between x and y. And we can see this when the coordinates are plotted and as x increases, y stays the same. The line that would fit this data the best would be a flat line or straight across. Let's see how we can do this using Excel. Here are the Excel steps. You can pause this video and write down these steps, and then I will show you how it's done using my own set of grade data and numbers of hours studied. Here we have an Excel spreadsheet where I have students' grades, hours studied, grade on exam, overall GPA, age, gender, number of credits earned, number of hours the students are working, whether they're full-time, part-time, as a student. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to have students hours studying and grade on exams. So, so let's highlight columns A, B, and C and scroll down so that the entire range is selected. Okay, we have 50 students here. Now we click insert. All right, after we click the insert tab, we have in the middle of this ribbon the different chart groupings and we can try different groupings. I'm going to go right over here where it says insert scatter XY or bubble chart. Click on that. And here we have the different types of charts and as I mouse over it you can see in the middle of the screen the different charts that are coming up. 
okay and you can either be happy with one of those all right or you can click here where it says more scatter charts and that's what I'm going to do and now I see this scatter chart is really the one I like it shows similar to how I did it by hand so I'm going to click OK and that's it there is my chart grade on exam I have the axis down here not labeled so what I can do is go to the chart elements button over here that's the plus sign um, on the top right click on that and you have all sorts of choices uh, the grid lines we can get rid of those grid lines okay so let's click that off and I don't have the grid lines anymore I can make a trend line to fit the data you see that and if I click on the trend line I can see uh, that the data really is a positive uh, relationship between X and Y as the number of hours studied your grade on the exam should increase I could change the chart title I don't need to it already says grade on exam because I labeled the, the top of the column uh, the x-axis and the y-axis are not labeled here so I'm going to click on that go over here uh, actually it gave it to me already so I can click on the axis title and make it um, hours studied and over here this axis would be great on exam now if you're using Microsoft Office uh, PowerPoint or Word you can pull this in and you can change the colors more easily you can see the box popped up and we have a choice of fonts I can make it bold I can change the colors let me type in uh, grade on exam grade on exam okay and let's do that again I just want to show you uh, I can change that to a red font color I can make the uh, font a little bit bigger okay so you can play around with the way the the graph looks let's change that to red and then up here we can make the graph look a little bit nicer a lot of things you can do in Excel and as I said you can pull it into other programs and make it look even nicer the hours studied here changed to the default setting for that design so I would change it back I like red so I'm going to click on the red I also don't have very good eyesight so I can make chart 18 font and of course I would do that oh that doesn't look so good okay I'm not going to play anymore with this but you can see that uh, there are many many different ways you can show the data and play around with the different designs that Excel comes with well, that one looks nice I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on scatter diagrams and remember to learn something new every day.